my name is Sumay Hussain. I'm 24 years old. Um, I started wearing hijab uh, when I was a child. I can't really remember when. And uh, I wear it because I believe it's something that my creator wants for me. And I also believe it's a benefit to myself. My name is Sonia Khan. I'm 32. I'm originally from Pakistan, and I don't wear a hijab or niqab. Hello, my name is Sheikha El Kathiri. I'm 20 years old. I've been wearing the niqab for one year, and I do it to please my creator and as part of completing my faith. Well, let me ask you straight up what most people, I think, would want to know is why do you feel it's necessary to hide your face? By covering my face, I'm honoring myself, and I'm presenting myself to the world um, as the sum of my character, as the sum of my personality, my contribution towards society. And um, it's just a little bit that I'm doing to enable me to go through this path of, of path of spiritual discovery. And it's something that I really feel glad and happy, and I feel so wonderful for having done it. And it's just a spiritual choice. Why do you feel wonderful for having done it? It just exemplifies the fact that I'm an honored Muslim woman. I am an honorable woman who has her own opinions. She has her own voice. I have my own personality. I have my character. I have everything that's wonderful about me, the way I contribute to society. And um, my beauty is a wonderful part of me as well. But I don't feel that I have to display it all for the world. Is that the function of your hijab when you wear it? It's basically a message that says that I would like you to judge me based on who I am and what I do, and it's not based on, you know, the way the way I look. And uh, it's, I mean, people might not like that, but it is a fact that men and women are perceived differently. If I wasn't wearing the veil, for example, for, to me, um, a, a, a man coming up to me and just chatting me up uh, might be normal, but to me, I might not like that. I'm interested in the concept of to to it's it's to make men behave better toward you. Is that what I'm hearing? My covering does not exempt a man from his responsibility as a man to be to behave himself, as you say, to conduct himself in a morally befitting manner. Just because I cover myself doesn't mean I'm, I'm doing it to make his job easier. Mm. Let me put to you what Jack Straw actually said. He said communities are bound together partly by informal chance meetings between strangers, people being able to acknowledge each other in the street or being able to pass the time of day together. That's made more difficult if people are wearing a veil. That's just a fact of life. Oh, I don't agree with that at all. I don't feel that just because I cover my face, why is that a barrier for you to treat me as a human being, to uh, relate to me as a human being, as somebody with opinions, with personality, with things that they can bring to the table? You know, Muslim women who, who choose to dress this way do that because they feel you know, cover this way, first of all, because they believe that God wants that of them, and they believe that God, is, God knows better for them than they know. Does it state in the Quran you're supposed to wear a hijab? I, I don't yes, think it does. It says it does. directly it does. you she have just to wear it. a hijab. I don't think there is a clear statement or understanding by a lot of, uh, I think, philosophers of Islamic scholars saying this is exactly what you need to wear. There is no clear understanding on that matter. I think there is so a clear if understanding. You read there's a very think, clear understanding. There's, there's a literally fair, you'll read all scholars saying the same thing. I disagree. No, I didn't a say that. A lot of scholars say will say. But there is, there is, there is a majority is and a minority. It's but the face clear. can be open. There's the nothing face, wrong with the that. The face is not necessary. Do you believe that? Um, yeah, um, I wasn't wearing it before, and now I am. Um, other peop there are people who do believe that the face is obligatory, mm -hmm. but I think that it's their choice in the end. Sonny, what do you think the message is when you see a veiled woman? We need to question, okay, I'm living in Canada, I'm wearing a hijab, I'm covering up my face. Am I going to be somebody who will bring people together, Jews, Christians, Muslims? I don't think so. Am I going to be the one who will be a philosopher bringing a new ideas to the table, actually getting people to get involved in the community? I think you'll create more barriers. It's not you, it's them. It's as in the people around you. They're stereotypes, they're perceived notions. All I'm saying is, as, as a Muslim, you're a missionary at heart. You're supposed to actually attract people towards you, not repel them. Well, let me bring this to you, and this is the English translation of the Quran. Tell the faithful women to lower their gaze and guard their private parts and not display their beauty except what is apparent of it and to extend their scarf to cover their bosom. Is that, are you not yes. being faithful to the Quran? It doesn't say cover any particular part except for the bosom. So I think it's about the humility of it and, and there's no 
kind of implication of what exactly, what item do you need to wear? We need to integrate, we need to assimilate, and we need to be able to move from one culture to the other without looking like something out of a different era. I don't think it creates any barriers. I don't think you have to assimilate in all ways. I think you should assimilate in, in, um, in the basic human ways of goodness and helping others, but you shouldn't have to assimilate in your dress because what is dress? It's just superficial. No, it's not. People always perceive you with, by what you wear. No one, I'm not talking about your communication. For example, if I'm non-Muslim, I will judge you. I will put a label on you and I'll walk away but because how you is that, are... How is that our fault though? It's not your fault, but I think the world has changed. And as a Muslim, you need to represent Islam as an encompassing thing, not an exclusionary thing. Depends, You're excluding people your in your world. Samaya, you want to say something to that? Mm -hmm. I think you need to give people a little bit more credit. Like, people are really, they're not that stupid. Like. I mean, just you mean the public at large? Yeah. I mean, just because someone's covered up in a certain way, it doesn't mean that everyone is going to see them as someone who's completely weird. But is there discomfort? Can you feel discomfort from people who are not Muslim, who don't understand? If I meet someone who doesn't know anything at all about Islam and has no stereotypes, they're going to be very friendly with me. It's the baggage and it's the stereotypes that make people, you know, defensive and, and, and prejudiced and so on. Mm -hmm. I know people are walking, look at me, don't agree with me. That's totally acceptable. How do you know? I know, because I know that the, the way they look at me. How do they look at you? Okay, there are a few people who give dirty looks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm used to it. Most people, they're just, they're just curious. They don't know, which is, you know, which is fine too. I wish they would come ask me. I'd love to explain it. Essentially, what Jack Straw was saying, and a lot of people are saying now, is, you know, how can I trust you? How can I get a feel for what you're saying if I can't see the entirety of your face? Well, let me ask you a question. How do you get a feel for what somebody's saying when you talk to them on the phone? And we use telephones like constantly nowadays. People use the internet. Do you believe you're equal to a man? Oh, the thing is, is that um, I do believe I'm equal to, to a man. Why don't men wear the same kind of equivalent if men are equal to women? Why is that? Is the Let's ask, why, why do you think that is, that men are not required? Presumably, God made, we can all agree on this, God made all of us, mm -hmm. right? He made my face, your face, a man's face. Why would he require a woman to cover some aspect of herself and not a man? Covering yourself is, is something that's natural to us. We, you know, we cover parts of ourselves that we think is not for public consumption. Mm -hmm. And if people differ on what that modesty is, I think that's totally fine and I don't see why anyone should have a problem with it. And the, the issue of equality in, in dress, I mean, men, men also have their, their, own, their own dress code that they, I mean, they can't just, they can't just you know, walk around wearing whatever they want. So if Jack Straw, were, if you were in his office and he said, would you mind removing the veil so I could talk to you in the presence of another woman, what would you, what would you say? I would say, I do mind. Why does it bother you that I have to remove it in front of you? Um, can't you communicate with me as a normal human being? I don't think that um, the fact that I'm wearing a veil prevents you from communicating with me as a normal human being in a normal way. Um, and I don't see why you have to um, get me to do this thing, to take off my veil. Perhaps for you it's something that you feel strongly about or you, you want me to do it for your own comfort, your own benefit. But I don't think it really is bothering you. I don't think it is. And no. it definitely doesn't bother me. Uh, Sonia, your last word. What do you think about the I, issue I, of I, veils I, and when someone is fully veiled? I think it's, it's time to, to question things in life. It's time to think of ourselves not as me, but as a community based on our responsibility as Muslims in a Western world. I think we need to be more responsible to actually improve the image of Islam and be more integrative. Samaya, what do you think? Frankly, I think it's ridiculous to say that people have a bad image of Islam because of the way people look, because someone has a long beard or someone's covering her head or even her face. And that, so. and that stereotypical connection may come up in what you're wearing, exactly. in the visible but the symbol. Fact that, the fact that there's a stereotype doesn't mean that I have to give up what I believe. If I believe something is right, I'm going to do it. You know, I think people need to accept the fact that people differ. You know, their opinions are different. They're going to believe different things. They're going to think that, you know, something is better for me or, you know, and another person will disagree. I mean, honestly, I don't see what the big deal is. My priorities in life are different than somebody else because my priority is spiritual first and foremost. And also, um, when I cover, my, I'm, I'm perfectly 
at fine with myself. Like I, I'm not ashamed of myself. I have very high self-esteem, and I'm fine with the way I look. I'm fine with my body, and um, I just think that if I'm fine with it, then everybody else shouldn't feel badly towards me. I understand your concern, and I'm very, um, you know, I thank you for your concern. If anybody is concerned, but I'm fine. I want to thank you all very much for coming in and talking, and I'm sure you're anxious to break the fast today and go eat. <laughs> thank you. Okay.